Only I'll finish this off today. So it's all sharpened. It's a 80 CRV2. It's a freaking awesome steel. It sharpens easy, holds an edge very well. Extremely tough, robust metal. I've used a fiberglass resin um, G10 scales, oh sorry, the liners, and it's a false sandalwood uh, timber for the handles. She's nice and sharp. So what we're going to do now is go through a bit of a sharpening process as well. Um, this sheath is made by a friend of mine. She's put these together for me. Uh, on the front as a small pouch you can put a um, small stone or and a um, ferrous M rod. sharpened this one yet just through um, the sanding and polishing process it'll eventually sharpens itself but you still have small imperfections and, and uh, sanding marks there's not quite there there's little spots that do bite yeah, up around the edge here still sharp enough for what most people would think a knife should be but it's not sharp you see the small bits in there which bite on across the surface so we can go through and sharpen these so I use a uh, wet dry paper I'm starting with uh, 400 on a flat surface. So I've got a tile here, but you can use a piece of glass, even just your normal bench top would do it. Um, use a lubricant of some sort. You can use water. Water and carbon seal don't mix. It will it will rust eventually. So. I like to use oil or um, yeah, WD-40. So this has got a Scandi grind. So that means it has a, a single bevel, usually about 5-6mm deep, on a one angle. So this one's been ground to 14 degrees either side of centre. So you can hold your knife flat, push down on the edge, on the cutting edge, and that's going to be your angle for sharpening. So you can saw the knife up and down. Thank <laughs> you. 
and it's a little bit sharper. Now moving up to 600. And I'll go to 800. Still could be a little bit better. So we're going to finish with a strop. So this is just a off-cut piece of leather, and I've got a bit of polishing compound on there. So what I'm doing there 
is taking off any any uh, micro piece of metal that's across this cutting surface so it's just wiggling at either side and eventually it'll break off it's something you can't quite see happening but it's happening <laughs> Much nicer. Okay, I'll try that. Bit of tissue paper. Now, let's say these two are finished and they'll be right to be sent off to their new owners.